Hello and welcome to Hack Attack. My name is Jakob Hack. I'm your host and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. This is Novation's Mini Nova and right here I've recreated a dub siren sound that I've already made a tutorial for. Now in my previous video when making this sound I was using FaceMaker by Bram Bose. It's an FM synthesizer audio unit plugin for iOS. Now Novation's Mini Nova certainly isn't an FM synthesizer. But even though these two synthesizers are so different I'm able to create similar sounds. And it's much thanks to the build up of the sound itself. <laughs> So let's break down the first and most easiest part. Even though the Mini Nova and FaceMaker are so different, they still have basic waveforms under their hoods. So to make a sound like this, you begin with one oscillator with a square waveform loaded. So both synthesizers has got you covered right there. The next step is the most trickiest one, depending on what type of synthesizer you're using. Now let's have a look at FaceMaker. FaceMaker has a pitch envelope and that's what I use to create the dub siren on that synthesizer. Looking at it, it's got four knobs. And to understand what it is, it's basically an ADR envelope tied to control the pitch of the oscillators. So now that we know this, how do we do the same thing with the Mini Nova? Because the Mini Nova doesn't have a ready to use pitch envelope. So we have to build it from scratch. So let's go into the menu here and into the edit window and then we go to the modulation matrix because here we're going to do what Bram Bose has already done inside FaceMaker. I'm sending the signal from envelope 3 to the pitch of the oscillator. So the first important step is done. Okay, so the polarity knob, what is it? Well, we can find ours if we go back one step to depth. Right, so this will set the strength of the signal coming from the envelope going into the pitch of the oscillator. And I'll set this to a positive value. And here I just want to add that you shouldn't be focusing too much on the actual number. What you should be focusing on is what you hear. So now that we've decoded the polarity knob, we now need to find our attack, decay and release knob. And of course, we will find those inside envelope 3, because that's the one we're using to modulate the pitch of the oscillator. So we jump out of this menu and go into the envelope menu. Move past the amplifier envelope, move past the filter envelope and go into envelope 3. ADR, attack, decay, release. And here we have them, attack, decay, sustain and release but if we go back to sustain you can see that i've pulled it down because we're not using it i've made sure that our envelope works as an adr envelope now the value i put into the release is just maximized because i don't want the envelope to clip out at the end all right so what the attack does it sets the time it takes for the pitch to rise so if i maximize this it's gonna rise very slowly And if I decrease the value, it's going to rise quickly. Now, the decay does the same thing, only it controls the descent of the pitch. So a long decay means it takes a long time for the pitch to go down. And this is how you make sirens for police cars. And with a shorter decay time, the pitch is going to move down quickly. And why I've chosen 84 in the decay or 82 in the attack is because to my ears, the result I get from this is very much the result I get in PhaseMaker after setting the attack to the maximum and the decay to the maximum. And that's where the Mini Nova and FaceMaker differ a lot, right? So the times I can actually set for the attack, decay and release inside FaceMaker are shorter than the ones I can set 
in the mini nova i can get longer times in here so that's something i had to try out so that i could emulate the values i got out of the pitch envelope inside facemaker now there's another part to this formula and it's the slope the shape of the decay and the attack. So let's move forward. Here you can set the slope shape for the attack and for the decay. So let me set these numbers to zero. Maximize this value again. And when I'm doing that, I'm changing the slope to be bent curved so the pitch moves differently now And there you have the actual setting of the pitch envelope inside Facemaker their logarithmic slopes and this can make it tricky for those of you using synthesizers where you cannot change the slope of the attack and the decay. There you have it, the pitch envelope inside Facemaker decoded. And now you also know why the shape of the envelope is so important to get the pitch jumping in the right way to make a dub siren. And another thing that these types of slopes when it comes to attack and decay are used are in drum synthesizers when making drum sounds pitch envelope mechanics thank you so much for watching all comments and ratings are very much appreciated i've also got a patreon page so if you want to support me that way then you can find the address right here and you can also find it down in the description together with a link to novation where you can read up about the mini nova and also a link to the page where you can download the latest firmware of course i've included a link to facemaker if you're using an ipad to make music then have a look at facemaker it's a great fm synthesizer and it's also an audio unit so you can load it up in several instances now i've made a few mini nova featured videos before and you can find them if you click either of these two boxes right here as usual i wish you a very productive week now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it